all right guys how's it going today so another nice sunny day again i think it's supposed to get up into the uh, low low 50s uh maybe high 40s i don't know they are uh talking of not really so much snow there's it, there could be a mix of snow and rain in the next i think in about a few days i don't know it's not all that far away but i'm not going to be too concerned about it because it probably could melt anyway but they're talking that it could get down into the 30s now for a few days um and then after that it could i don't know <laughs> so anyways i uh, i took a look at my leaves wondering if I'd have to get maybe if I'd have to chop one more time yet and well I probably would have swept it you know with with a lawn sweeper I think I would have done it but it doesn't really need it it doesn't need a, it it doesn't need to be chopped there's not really enough there to justify putting all that wear and tear on the mower deck for a little bit of leaves now if i had a lawn sweeper it'd be a totally different story i'd probably i would have kept going but at least i was you know with the lawn sweeper i could have put on on a lot of my uh winter stuff for the john deere so <clears throat> but anyways um john deere's ready to go i just kicked big red out for now but that thing's ready, 100% ready to go. The only thing I gotta do, and I'm a little bit concerned, I gotta double check the operators, or well, I guess it would be the operator's book, I don't know, for the blower. There's technically two gearboxes on that thing. You have one on the back, that's your main one, that your PTO shaft connects to. And then you have another one in the front that your augers are connected to, and well, I checked the rear uh, gearbox for oil, and it had plenty in there. It was coming out, but then on the front one, there was nothing coming out. So I have to double check that again. I'm sure it took oil, and usually the way it goes, especially with those kind of things, you're supposed to fill them up until they run out of your fill plug which is also your your level plug you know so once it starts to ooze out well then it's full but nothing came out and i didn't i didn't put a stick or anything down in there just to make sure that it had at least some oil um but i'm going to double check with the operator's book or parts book whatever the hell i got sitting in the corner there and uh See where it's supposed to exactly be at. And I bet you 10 to 1 that probably takes 80, 90 oil. Which I have none of. Um, so I think December I'm probably going to have to get some gear case oil for sure. Or if I get some 80, 90 oil for sure. Um, to put oil in that. Because I don't know. Um... I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't think it, it would have leaked it out because there's nowhere for it to leak. And if it was leaking, you think that you know it would be all gummy and stuff. Because I understand that snow would go through it and clean it up. But even just sitting here on the floor, it should have leaked to oil. There should have been some puddles or something there. And I've, how long have I had the snow blower? You know, and I haven't seen a seen a drop of oil. So my theory is that. Maybe when they built the snowblower, they didn't fill it like they should have, but you think that they would have, but maybe they put just enough in there for shipping, I guess. I don't know, but it's not, if I'm correct, it's not full like it should be. Because my theory is that it's supposed to come out of your, well, it would be your level check, but I think that's also your fill too, because I don't think there was one at the very top. So well, that's going to be interesting to do because it's such a tiny little hole. I don't really have anything that's tiny enough to get in there. So 
I don't know, but I don't like it. So I'm gonna check the book again. It doesn't take grease, it takes oil. So my guess would be 80, 90 oil. So, because the mower deck takes, uh, uh, takes 80, 90 oil. So, but yeah, I didn't even know how far I was gonna get today um, with this project. I figured last night I got, well, yesterday I took the mower deck off, I cleaned it, um, yada, 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 I did all that, right? Uh, but then I figured, eh, that's probably gonna be it, you know? But then I kept going, I got the center shaft put on last night too. And then today I didn't even know how far I was gonna get. I figured I'd probably get, um, at least a lift arm on what I really wanted to want to take advantage of today because today is going to really be a nice day I really need to wash the freaking Tahoe again and the John Deere kind of needs it too it needs a bath I haven't I think I gave it one bath so far this year but it really kind of could use another one just to make it look sparkly clean I guess so yeah <clears throat> But other than that, I mean, it, like, if I had to, I'm ready. I can snow blow if I had to. Now, what would have been nice, like I said, if I had the lawn sweeper, you know, that you pull behind the John Deere, the only thing I wouldn't have on would be the snow blower and my tire chains. The wheel weights, the center shaft, and the lift arm, all that I could put on. I could have put that on a month ago. Because technically, we were done mowing grass, you know, pretty much a month ago. Yeah, actually a month, because my... John Deere app that I use that tracks my mows. It's been 30 plus days now since my last mowing. Uh, I have done a little bit of mowing, like my, you know, like my front yard, because that won't die off until we get like snow. It will continue to keep growing because there's, the grass is like this, and you got the sun beating directly down onto it, right? Because we're, we're on a hill, so that grass always grows grows pretty good and it it takes a lot to kill it before it will kill it so i mean like it everything else will be dead before that so but at least i could have you know if i had a lawn sweeper i could have had the stuff off a month ago when it was actually a lot nicer out and at least had some of the stuff on because the worst thing is the center shaft the wheel weights and the lift arm those are obviously are the heaviest things and those those tire chains they're not the tire chains are not that heavy but they're just a pain in the ass because i never remember what setting they're supposed to be at you know because there's like three different settings you know i think these chains are only designed for my size of tire but i don't know i've always had to I think it's always the first notch. I, I've people always say, "Oh, you got to get these things tight," you know, like you don't want them to come off. Yeah, of course, but they always say, "Well, you 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 can get them tight just by like going to the second or third setting, you know, of your chains." Like, see, mine has three settings. I don't know what other brands would have, but mine have technically three settings. And I think for a lot of years. I don't even remember now, but usually it's always the first. Yeah, like that one's the first, and I think this one's the first. Uh, where the hell's the lock thing at? Yeah, well, what it is is that one tire is a second notch, and the other tire is the first notch. I don't know why it's... They're both, the, they're both the exact same size tire, so I don't know why one's more kind of wonkier than the other, but so it's one and two, but you have three, obviously, but people always call us like, I don't know, I guess people just like to gripe and bitch and complain, and they probably don't even do what we do. They always say that we're idiots for putting like rubber straps, you can see those little black rubber straps there that pulls the chain even tighter um i can get the chains a lot tighter with that people especially well you know just 
people that like to gripe and complain. They say that we're idiots for doing that. Some people are like, oh, we can always get them super tight, you know, just with what the chains have built into them. Some chains you can, but there are there probably are a lot of chains that require some kind of a secondary tightening device. And I just, you know, I don't really care how it looks as long as it works. So, yeah, I put tie-down or rubber straps on both chains. You know, that just pulls them a little tighter. Um, I think probably without them, I, I don't know, I don't think that the, the chains would, would fall off. I just don't think they'd be quite as grippy as if they were tighter like this. But... <clears throat> I kind of just wish we didn't have to run chains in the first place, but the only way you're going to get around that is four-wheel four drive and heavier tires, like egg tire-like stuff, you know. These are just turf tires, so there's really, there's no traction with these things in the wintertime. In the summertime, it's perfectly fine, but in the wintertime, there's very little traction to be had with those type of tires, but... Oh, well, I'm not going to put different tires on for in the wintertime. I do enough as it is. I can deal with the stinking chains i think so but <clears throat> the only thing like i said is i gotta check that that front gear box to see what kind of oil it takes and how much and hopefully we don't get any snow that's needing to be snow blowed at least until after december so i can try to get something in there for 80 90 oil that's just what i'm guessing it'll take i have none left so and I don't want to blow up that damn gearbox either because, I, you know, that's just stupid. But who knows how long it's actually been like that too because I don't think I've ever... I, st I can't remember if I've ever checked them gearbox. I thought I did, but I don't remember. So I decided to check them now. Um, they're, like I said, the, the rear one is perfectly fine. There's plenty of oil in it. And then that front one, well, it's not coming out the plug so it's either low or it's completely empty but if it was completely empty it probably would have shattered by now if it's been like that since day one so there's got to be something in there to help keep it somewhat lubed but it should be to the proper you know level so and that's what that's what needs to get done this year before we get into some heavy blowing shit so but, yeah, other than that, the John Deere is ready to go. Um, of course, don't forget to uh, don't forget to flip your, your screw. There's a screw on that valve. Um, you have to, I had to install it because obviously these tractors have a tiny little cylinder underneath. That's what actually raises and lowers your mower deck. Well, if you don't have that valve, that shutoff valve, then you're just going to be constantly sending oil to that cylinder, plus your snowblower, which would be the rotation chute thing. If you don't have it, well, then your chute will be slow for a few seconds, and then it'll catch up. But that's because you're messing with the cylinder underneath. This way, I'm basically deleting that cylinder, shutting it off, so no oil can go to that cylinder. Um, and there you go. So, but... I don't know. It is what it is, I guess. So, <clears throat> the only thing I got to do now, I, I probably do it tonight. I don't know. I'm kind of wore out now, but I got to clean the shop floor. I got to get all the leaves and shit out. Kind of waiting for the wind to calm down. It's not too bad now. It's a little bit breezy, but not anything I guess I'd have to be concerned about, but I want to take a break. So, but yeah, I think I can hear somebody yelling. Not really sure, but yeah. So I guess I don't know if anybody's heard or not. I don't know. It sounds like our lovely Donald Trump won, won for president. So he's going to be our next president for the next four years. Um. So. The only thing I have to say about that is, like, you know, 
we already know what kind of what Trump is like, so we we know what kind of you know we know what to expect out of him. But I guess the the girl that was running against him, I'm not familiar with her, so I. I don't really know if she would have been a good president or not because I've never heard of her. Of course, again, I, I mean, I kind of knew, you know, about Donald Trump my whole entire life. I've heard things about him here and there. But, you know, the girl I've, I know fuck all about. So I don't know where the hell she come from. But the only thing I'm kind of wondering about is, okay, we all know that Donald Trump has done some things that were wrong and illegal. Now, if there's any actual proof to that, who knows? Because, you know, the judges keep fucking with it. And he's never, ever been sentenced to jail time. It's like, you know, he's gone to court and done this shit and this shit and that shit. But yet nothing ever ever comes of it. So why they even wasted his time and the court's time is beyond me. It's just like either you're, you're, either you're going to put the fucker in jail or you're not. Like. I mean, pick one, you know, put him in or not. So, but here's the thing. He is technically a convicted felon, you know, because he's been accused of these things. So these things are now on his record. So, so you let a felon become president of our country, you know, I guess the, the only reason why I'm bringing it up is because it's not fair. It's not fair to the rest of America because you're good. I mean, now, I'm not the only one that's saying this. There has been other people that have said this, like on Facebook and stuff, that if you're going to let a felon run as president, why don't you change the felony um, forms for when somebody wants to go, go and get a job? When you go to get a job at, like, I don't know, probably even like McDonald's, I don't know, like any job, right? They ask if you've committed any felonies in the past and you have to answer that you have to be honest about that you got to be you know you can't lie about it because they're going to find out either way right so okay well if you had even just a stupid speeding ticket you're done they ain't going to hire you but yet it's okay to let donald trump run as president and he's done much worse so the only reason like i said why i bring this up is because it's not fair to the rest of, of the country. If you're going to let a, a felon become president of the U.S., then you need to change it to how people with criminal records, either from just a simple speeding ticket all the way up to murder, you know, you got to let these people have a fair chance to then at life. Because there are some people that do things wrong, even if it's just a speeding ticket or literally killing somebody. You know, they do change their, their lives around and they become good people. They just made a poor decision in life. So, and they change. And they're perfectly good people for the rest of their lives. But yet they have such a hard time getting a job now. Because, well, nobody wants to hire a felon, right? So, that's why I just look at it. That's the way I see it. Because it's not fair, you know, to to the rest of us. You know, even Mother, she agrees with, with me and agrees with the other people on that have been saying that too. Like, it's not fair because Trump is a felon. Now, if it's actually been proven, is who knows? But they keep taking him to freaking court all, over the, all the time over such stupid shit. And but then yet they don't actually like put him in jail or house arrest or anything stupid like that. He just gets to walk out and be a free man until his next hearing. It's like, just put the fucker in jail or don't. Like, you have two options here, you know. It's not a fucking, you know, it doesn't work like that. Either you're going to jail or you're not. Either you're going to be found guilty or found innocent. There is no in-between, you know. I feel like what they're doing to Trump is they're just kind of, you know, hassling him and wasting his time when he should be, you know, doing other shit. You know, so, but, I don't know, so, but yeah, I think, uh, it was, it was, from what I can last remember, I don't know, I guess it probably depends on how you look at the system, but, um, they had the, the scoreboard up there, and I don't know exactly what the, how they look at the score, but 
Donald Trump was at a 277. That was his number. And then the girl was 270. So it was it was a very close, you know, race. You know, like it was it was damn close. So, but nonetheless, Trump won again. I figured he would because we don't really know nothing about. I mean, personally for me, I don't know the girl. I know Trump, but you know, so I don't know. But even here in town, like even in my own very town, there's at least two people that are Trump supporters. And then, of course, you got, I mean, you got people over in North Dakota too, right? You know, but it's so stupid. I don't I don't care for how they look at it this way because um, they look at it state by state and then blue would be, like it was colored blue and red. Okay, well, the blue were people that were voting or was the state that was voting for the girl and then you had red, that was for Trump. And yet, it says that Minnesota, that like 90% of everybody here voted for a girl. Which I don't, I don't really believe because if you fucking drive around, you see, you can see plenty of Trump flags and stuff, you know. So I, I think that's not accurate at all, you know. So, sometimes, I mean, I don't, it's, it's hard to trust any type of, you know, voting thing or anything like that. So, and the numbers. So, I don't know, but am I happy that Trump won? Well, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest with you, because I feel like either way we're going to get, I mean, I don't know what the girl's going to do, but it was a little bit, I think, different than from what Trump was going to do. Well, I guess it would be, yeah, but I don't really know what she was going to do. I think there were some things that I didn't care for um, that were not obviously my top priority. My top priority is locking up the freaking borders, and obviously that's what Trump would do. Well, I think he tried it the last time he was fucking president, and we didn't get very damn far with it, you know. So, but I think Trump's just he's just going to try to make it harder. I think, which is fine. But, you know what, I have friends that feel, I mean, they're on Trump's side, but they, the way they see it is that since these people are getting, they're coming into this country illegally, you know, the immigrants, they're crossing the border illegally, um, he says, why don't, why aren't we just shooting them? Because he says that if you go to other countries... Like, I don't know if it was Iraq or something. There's, there's a couple of other countries where if you sneak into their border or try to sneak through their border illegally, they don't ask questions. They just shoot you dead. And that's it. So they don't ask who you are. Or do you have paperwork? You know, like they don't give a shit. You're, if, if you don't come here illegally, they don't want you. Okay, they don't want you. Now, why can't we be like that? I understand that's harsh. But we're losing this country, you know, every day. We need to start fighting back. And fighting back is going to get ugly. You know. It's fucking bullshit that we have to feel sorry for these people. You know, that even though, you know, it's all just lies at this point. We have to feel bad for them. Let them into our country. And from what my friend says, that when they come here, they uh, they get a house, they get a car, they get a cell phone, which are not cheap. They probably get the nicest cell phones on the planet. Um, and apparently they're given $10,000 cold cash. I guess to just blow it on whatever the fuck they want. Are you kidding me? When I heard that, that was fucking like, that's crazy. That doesn't that doesn't need to be going on here. It doesn't. So I'm hoping that if Trump, you know, can do something about it, hopefully, you know, he does. Because this is ridiculous. I'm not fucking paying for illegals to live here in my country um, for free, and they don't ever get a job. They don't ever get out and do anything besides, you know, maybe go into start gangs 
and fucking kill people. Like, fuck you. We have enough crap in our country as it is. You know? Unless you're coming here legally with valid paperwork, then maybe I'd be okay with it. But 99% of these fucks are coming here illegally, and I don't want them. So, like I said, it'd be a little bit of a different story if they were doing things more legal-like. I understand that that costs a shit ton of cash because you got to go to... They would have to go to their courthouse and... If they don't have the proper paperwork already, then they have to go through the process of getting it made. That probably takes months, weeks, years probably. So I understand that, you know, they don't want to wait years. They want to just get the fuck over here. But if you want to come here legally without being hassled or being shot at, then you need to do it by the book. But since a lot of these don't do it by the book, they should just get shot right on site and that's it. I know that's making me sound, you know, you know, hard, hardcore or whatever, whatever you want to call it. I don't fucking care. It's just the fact that if we don't take control of this country, we're going to lose it. And we have so many people in this country alone that are idiots and don't see what they're capable or what they're doing. You know, it's just, it's just, un, it's just, you know, it's completely freaking mind blowing. So, but yeah, so I don't know, but I don't think, I don't think Trump's going to get anything done about it. Cause like I said, I think he tried the other time or that he was, he was running and he, uh, just, he couldn't do anything. Now, of course, Trump, or I mean, Biden, he just wouldn't do anything out of just pure laziness. And being a total, you know, retard, you know, he just, he's, he's an old man for crying out loud. And I think he's getting, he's getting senile in the head. So when I heard that he, he was going to not run again, that, that made me happy, you know, because I don't know what, like I said, I don't know what the girl is capable of doing. So, um, I think there were some things that I was, you know, I agreed with, and there was a lot of things I didn't agree with, but um, I'm pretty sure from what it sounded like, the borders were not her top priority. So, I just, that's why, I don't know, it's, it didn't really get me all that excited for her, because it, it didn't really sound like she cared too much about the border crisis. You know, so, but I don't know. We'll see what Trump can do, I guess, and whatever else. But I just, I guess what I'm trying to say at, you know, that, well, a lot, a lot of people are saying this kind of too, is that, that maybe this country is getting desperate for presidents. That's why they... They, you know, they, they, they let Trump win, you know, like, I don't, so, I guess I really can't pick, you know, I mean, it's up to the people, but why it really matters, I don't know, because I imagine our vote gets thrown out anyway, because I'm sure at the end of the day, they, they tinker with it themselves, even though they sit there and say that they don't, you know, so, that was going on again, too, I think this morning I heard something about that. The FBI or whatever, they were um, getting reports or something. I don't know that that they were messing with the ballot or the ballots again. You know the voting stuff. So, but they claim that they weren't. So I don't know, but I'm sure they were. The government's fucking crookeder than, than I don't know what crookeder than a fucking snake. So. Well, what do you do, you know? We can't kick the government out of here because we just simply can't. So, I don't know. What do you do, you know? But, <clears throat> I don't know. I just, I the way I see it, because, I mean, you got to think about the future, too. And it's like, you know, 
Trump's getting up there in age too, you know, and he's not going to be able to do this forever. He's, he, I think he only gets like four, what was it, three or four terms, and this would be his second one now that he's used. So I think you'd only have one or two more. And then after that, you know, you can never, ever run for president again. So, but I kind of just think that the way that this country is going, eventually they're just, they're, they're going to take anybody, you know, because they're just going to get, because you, you don't really see a lot of people wanting to run for it, you know, like there should have been, instead of just, just two people running, there should have been three, there should have been four. I don't know why there can't be more than two. The only reason why I figure is there's always, always, always ever been two is because there's nobody else that, that wants to do the job. You know, either they're not qualified enough or they just don't simply want to do it. You know, but I think it's going to get to the point that they're just going to be so desperate for help that they're or, you know, looking for a president that they're going to take anybody. So, and then that's when it's going to get really interesting when they start hiring just anybody, you know, or start taking in whoever, right? That's going to get real, real scary then. Because, you know, something's going to happen then. So, but what do you do? Um, so, then there's just nothing you can do about it. So, but I guess that means that I can run for president. Should I run for president? You know, like, <laughs> at least I would, I, you know, I would think the same way as Trump. You know, like, the border is our problem, and taking care of America, you know, that like, that's my top priority, too. Like, I want to take care of our own country. I don't want to go fucking support another country that doesn't even care about us anyway. Like, why do we have men, army men, over in Iraq? There's no reason for them to be over there. Fuck them. They don't like us anyway, so they can defend themselves. Um, the Ukraine war, that's probably a little bit of a different story, you know, but I think most of us are probably from there anyway, but um, I don't think Russia really cares about us all that much either, so I wouldn't really plan on helping them. You know, that's kind of another thing too. Now, I guess every country would be different, but somebody's going to have to explain this to me if they can. Putin. The guy that's been threatening, well, he's been blowing up the Ukraine for, what, three, four years now? Okay, well, it sounds like he's been the president. I guess I'm just going to use the word president, but every country is a little bit different to how they word it. But I think he's been president over there now for years. Like, I don't know how long, like forever. But yet over here in the U.S., it's only, like, four years and then you get like three or four terms to do it so that's still not not a lot of years i think what it is the reason why they do it and this is just my theory on it you guys can tell me what you think but i think the reason why they do it is because if somebody's president for too long they start getting that greedy for power stuff and i think that's what's going on with putin because he's been president for so freaking long he thinks he's untouchable now because he's been, like, you know, president for too long. So they really should... They really should kick his ass out, too, and find somebody else. Even though maybe they... I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they just simply can't find anybody else, too. I don't know. So everybody's probably too scared to run against him. But I don't think they have things over here like we do, you know. Because... I don't know. It's just different over there, I guess. But... I think it's time for Putin to go as well. So, but what do you do? You know, nothing really can use, nothing you can really do about it. So, but <clears throat> I don't know. But the way this country's going, I think eventually they're just they're gonna you know they're gonna take anybody, including idiots. Well, I guess I qualify as an idiot, but I, at least I still know what this country actually needs. I'm just more of a slow learner. It takes me time to actually learn to understand certain things. But once I understand it, well, then it, it'll, it goes perfectly fine. So, but I think I could run this country because 
all you gotta do is lock up the fucking borders, kick everybody out that's not that's been here illegally, and try to bring jobs back to America. And that's another thing that needs to happen. More jobs need to come back to America. Start making things here in America like we did back in the nineteen twenties. And <clears throat> There you go. Like, we would we would probably be so much better off. Because, one, if things were truly made here in America, then things would be cheaper. In the long run, they would turn out to be cheaper because, you know, you're not having to have it shipped over overseas. Um, not having to pay another country to, to make it, you know, and yada, yada, yada. You know, like, it's all made right here in America. And we don't have to wait seven years for it to show up. You know, so... Things just just need to come back to America. That's just that's the way I see it. So, but and then like like Trump said too, and and this is going to be kind of a good thing I think, but it's also going to hurt too. But I know that Trump said that if John Deere, the, you know the tractor company, if they move to Mexico, he was going to put a two hundred percent increase on the imported fee or whatever, you know, to have things imported into the U.S. There's actually a fee for that. I didn't even know that, but I guess there is. Um, I don't know what it is now, what the rate would be, but if Trump said if that happens and he's in office, it's going to go up to 200%. So, maybe that'll scare John Deere, because John Deere's a fucking idiot. Well, John, the CEO of John Deere, he's a fucking moron, fucking clown. So, and, you know, and yeah, I do own a John Deere lawn tractor. But you know what? That son of a bitch was made here in America. Of course, I bought that thing back in 2009. So it is a much older unit, but still fucking super reliable. So if John Deere moves, I don't know. First, first I think even if it's just one of their plants, they got multiple plants. But I think even if, if one went to Mexico... I might be might be done with John Deere. I don't know because I'm not supporting any of that crap, you know. So I was thinking about okay. Well, I do want to. I was going to upgrade this at some point. So I'll go from a John Deere X724. I was going to go up to a 1025R or whatever would be next in line, you know, for whatever John Deere makes. But now I'm looking at a at a Case IH. Um, I forget the model numbers, but it's just. It's, the same frame size and everything as a 1025R John Deere. Um, the only problem is is it doesn't have tilt steering wheel, which I don't know why they, I don't know, it's just they don't have it. This thing does. The 1025Rs do. Um, they don't really have much for a snowblower on the front. I don't have, don't see anything for a front snowblower. You can get them with a front end loader, a mid-mount mower deck, and... A backhoe if you want a backhoe but i'm not getting that i just i need the three point more than anything else so <clears throat> and i honestly i think that the case ih tractor is a little bit cheaper than the john deere of course now you are paying for the brand but i don't know but it, it kind of sounds like with the case ih i mean when, when you go on their website you don't see anything for a front end snowblower you can get one for the three point. That's no big deal. Everybody makes them, but I would rather have a front mounted one because obviously that's what I got on the front of the John Deere. It's a front mounted snowblower, and I just bought that thing uh, back in two thousand twenty one. I think it was that's when I bought that thing. So it's not that old. So <clears throat> I don't know. I guess we'll see what the hell happens, but. If uh, John Deere does what they're going to do, that might be that might be the end of it. It's going to be a little bit before I can get, you know, to upgrade, you know, tractors or you know, lawn tractors, garden tractors, whatever you want to call them. I, I just call them tractors, but it's going to be a little bit before I can upgrade. So I'm still going to have to run the John Deere, regardless of what John Deere does. But I'm not going to be very happy about it. But what are you going to do? So. But, I don't know, I guess, what, what, what do you do, you know? This country's just gone to freaking shit, and I'm sick and tired of it. I'm tired of, you know, I'm just so sick and tired of buying crap, and it's made in China, and it's all junk. Doesn't doesn't hold up worth a shit, so. 
I can damn guarantee if it was made here in America, you'd get fucking 50 years out of it. That's how a lot of the stuff was built back in the day. Look at that fucking, uh, that farm all A, that farm all A tractor that we have at the farm. My great-grandparents bought that thing many, many years ago. I don't think they bought it brand new. I think they bought it used, but it was, they farmed with it for a lot of years. And then it sat for maybe 20 years or something like that. And then we just got it going a couple of years ago. And, you know, a little bit here and there, and it's running. You know, and you can fix it yourself, you know, and there's no computers in it. There's no sensors. There's no nothing in it. It's all just mechanical shit, you know. And that thing's still running like a freaking tank. The engine's getting tired. It does have a... Uh, I don't want to say it's on the second engine, but it's on the original engine, I think, blew up or something. Something cracked in it, and they couldn't use it anymore. So they pulled another one out of a combine that was a Super A engine, and they put it in there. Okay, well, that needs to be rebuilt, too, because it's also getting tired. There's a lot of blow-by, but still runs pretty good. But at least you could, you know, you could rebuild it. You know, you got the blow-by that tells you, hey, this engine's getting wore out now. Whereas with, you know, the other, the newer stuff, who knows if you're going to get blow by or if you're just going to get a sensor that says, hey, your engine's shot. Because these tractors are not going to live long enough to experience that type of engine. You know, wear and tear on an engine. Everybody sells them after a few years because, you know, <laughs> they, just, they, they, they just go nuts after a while. Because it's just... just too many sensors and computers and, and there's no way around it. And of course John Deere's being an asshole and we can't get the software to plug in our stuff. They're supposed to be allowing that. That bill did pass. John Deere is supposed to be giving us the software to plug in our tractors and computers or and combines to diagnose problems. That has passed, so John Deere is supposed to do it, but somehow John Deere's egging it on. They're just they're lagging it on and then they're delaying it that should have happened i think even last year that all should have been public stuff if you don't want us messing with your computers and electronics then you need to get them out get them out of our tractors and combines because they're nothing but a fucking nuisance so but yeah man guys i guess i'm going to take off just want to give you guys an update so what's going on and whatever else and and, uh, yeah, second video on the new iPhone 16 Pro Max. Unfortunately, my other phone is good. Well, I've had it for a lot of years, and it's getting tired as well. So, but, whatever, I'm just waiting for my uh, case, protective case and stuff to show up. It hasn't shown up yet, but it will at some freaking point. So, but, yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going to take off. I'm going to go and... Put the John Deere away, and I think Big Red's just going to sit there for a while because I want to clean out the shop floor. And then, oh yeah, I put the trimmer away. There's my there's my Honda trimmer underneath that blue tarp. That's put away now, too. I, I didn't get to clean it. I think I'll clean it. Try to clean it in spring. So, but, yeah. <clears throat> so, I'm going to take off, so I guess I have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.